Well, hey there, team. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Defense Grid The Awakening. So this is the game that's now free on Epic for probably 24 hours, I guess. They're doing a 15 days of Christmas thing and I'm covering each of these games as they come out. So yeah, go over there and check it out. You can get it for free, no strings attached sort of thing. Um, if you like the look of this. So I don't know much about this. Defense Grid, it sort of rings a bell from way back in the day. I gave it a bit of a, a bit of a Google. Apparently 08 is when this game came out. So this is deep classic. Holy heck. Um, what's that bloody 12 years? Um, and uh, I never really played it. It's a, And it's also a wave defense, tower defense game, which we should, this will test us. Let's see how hard I am simping for the Epic Store because I'm not a big fan of tower defense games. I can find them a little bit. Uh, I, I don't I don't know. I can't put my finger on it, but I just do. I, I don't, they're not necessarily in the category where I think they're bad. There are certain genres that I actually think are actually crap genres. Um, but it's just more that this is the closest thing to a game usually as a genre that doesn't actually appeal to me so much, which is rare because I play everything. But let's give it a go. If they're giving it away for free, it's going to be worth something. I looked it up on Steam, even though we're on Epic over here, and it seemed to be overwhelmingly positively re re received. So, you know, let's bloody go. The Awakening Story. Aliens have besieged your city and cut you off from your home. Oh, bricks. In the nearby ruins of an old military base, you find a dusty terminal. Okay. We're off. Good start. Oh, okay. Move the mouse to pan your view. Okay, we've got a locked mouse. So this, I think maybe this was a mobile game as well. My God, but it's been a while. What seems to be the problem? Ah, the aliens are back, are they? Oh, are they? Yes, well. Uh, uh, Precisely why I was downloaded into this computer 412,806 days ago to assist you. Oh, okay. I was in your chair, you know. I've waited so very long. I like this voice actor. There are three heights you can play from. Rotate the mouse wheel to switch between them. Oh, you're just talking about the fucking oh, zoom. Raspberry. The most delightful burst of flavor. <laughs> I miss raspberries. But okay. First things first. Yes. I dare say a bit of practice will do us both some good. Okay, fair. The cursor turns green on a tower door where towers can be built and red elsewhere. Right, so on these doodackies. I sort of get the I gist of that. Down towers. It will deplete your resources, but that's what they're bloody well for, isn't it? I suppose so. So can I can make a Oh. This is weird. <laughs> the mouse clicks between that and that. Left click on a tower door. Oh, it's okay. They're saying like sort of like a Bombay door sort of thing that opens up a hatch. Select the gun tower. Yeah, yeah. They're coming for the power cores. If they get hold of them, they'll run for it. Okay, I can use Wazda as well if I really want. And I can bring the cores back. What's this tower look like? Door, Looks pretty cool. Oh, we don't want him running out of power. The status of your power core is shown in the upper left, right. Green indicates the core is safe. Amber means stolen but recoverable. I and spent a few drones on your education. Uh, okay. Sit back and observe. Yeah, okay. Can I build another gun tower? Yes. Send in the drones, let's go. Here he comes. Oh wow, we got Halo machine guns. Nice. Now, I should mention that there is an upside to their assaults. The more of them you destroy, the more resources I can harvest from the wreckage. Oh yes. Kill them all is what you're saying. Forty we got forty bloody Wulons up in the corner. Forty Deutschmarks. Towers are invincible and have unlimited ammunition. You may place as many as you want, as long as you have the resources required. But wonderful. When placing a tower, the glowing ring indicates the tower's range. Yes. Oh no. All right, kill some more so I can buy some more things.
Uh oh. Is that one gonna get past? Nah. <laughs> gotcha, mate. So I guess you gotta come up with your theory of do you want focus saturation or do you wanna spread it out more? I'm going for saturation, I suppose, at this point. But it looks like they might start sneak slipping past. Just judging on how far they've made it. Oh no. That's not good. Can this guy reach? <clears throat> Alright. Well, we messed up there. Heads up. They're taking a call. Oh, they're pinching my dollars? Do they come back? They come back! Right, okay. I guess that's a bit of a twist. So, okay, so my I got yellow health because it's recoverable. All right, can we bloody speed this game up or anything like that? Oh, and the core just, it slowly floats home. Oh. Okay. You know what? Maybe I don't hate tower defenses. It'd be such a shame if I poo-pooed a whole genre because I had some bad shovelware experiences or something. But hey, I'm open to the idea that maybe that happened. Now what happens? Do I have to wait for those to come home? Perfect. A oh. joy to behold. Tower cell value. Remaining resources. Power cores remaining. Alright, so that'll that'll contribute to my score. But I don't think it carries over. Story. Oh. Oh shit, okay. Now we must get the old communication center online to see what's coming our way. Let's see if we can't clean the place. Alright, I can build ones there. If they attack. Look at that, that's the king. That's the king spot. It's got the most saturation. Oh, and this is absolutely essential. You must remember to, um... Uh, hmm. What's this, Inferno? Oh, I don't think he can reach. Okay, hang on. Inferno, can, he can reach there, though. Cone of fire damages an area, making it good against groups, but weaker against single aliens. Okay. Okay. How, how much does the Inferno cost? $150 dollar he dues. Okay. And we'll put you on the corner there. Inferno Tower is a short range weapon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I put it in the right spot. All right, let's, let's do it. Let's dance. How do I start the waves? Do I just have to wait? Okay. Let's mop these up. Right, it's interesting looking at older game design. You know, like, nowadays you would either have a continue button, or you'd at least have a timer to tell me how long I've got to wait, but we're not getting either of those. Look at these little dudes, little bloody tyrannied looking dudes. Oh, we're going to need Inferno's bloody stat. Oh, look at him doing God's work over there. God, you love to see it. Yeah, burn him. Look at that, an inferno would go deliciously there. We'll just save up for him. Perfect. So, it seems to wait for the wave to run back before it sends the next wave. Oh, no, lies. It starts sending the next wave. Interesting. So, you're incentivized to take them out early. Right, and they do a little victory lap around here. As you would, I'd be pretty excited. I'd, you know. We're halfway through, boys. I got the little bloody thing. Oh, wow. They're like escorting fucking big chungus there in the middle.
Right, nice work, boys. All right, so it makes the most sense to me to... Yeah. As we've talked about, though, dollar value in games is a great way of to see developer intent and balance because it's the most rudimentary way to balance something. Ergo, we have two different turrets. One's 100, one's 150. It's safe to say that 151, if used correctly, is much higher value. So generally, if I can get away with it in these sort of games, this is how my engineering brain works. I go, I'm going to spend, I'm going to fill every single slot with the cheapest turret, and then we're going to start scaling up to the next one. I'm not, I'm not actually sure how much we get on resale of turrets. We should probably put that to the test. In fact, you know what? How do we sell a turret? Sell for 75? Okay, we get three quarters back. So there is a loss in that sort of planning. If you leave, it'll be saved. Oh, that's nice. So, okay, there's the true argument. Do you want to do what I do, which is incremental upscale, which essentially will lose you a quarter of your value input um, due to refunding? Or do you want to sort of try and sit and hold out as long as possible and spend money on the most expensive things? It's an interesting question. Because if you do that, the danger, you, your early game suffers there. Whereas what I'm doing, arguably your end game suffers, but you secure a strong early game. Again, I haven't played a tower defense in years, but this is just how I'm looking at it all. Cook them. Towers can be recycled. Tell me to reprocess them and I can recover some of the resources. How much does the flamethrower give us back? 112. I do like that the sound is like ripped straight out of Halo. That's, I don't care. It's an old game, that's fine. But it is interesting that they all focus fire the front man as well. Wow, it takes a long time to sell a turret. Right, so to leverage the, the Inferno turret, it's got short range. It'll be things like this spot here. Oh, I think I sped that up by clicking on it. All right, at least you can click on them to see their, to, to like a range check. No, I think you get more value out of that. It's good that there's value beyond the actual dollar amount as well. See, I would still think that that type of tower is better. Well, now we've got surplus money and this, are there turrets that I can't see that I haven't? Nope. See that? I mean, maybe there's an argument for making this one the flamethrower, perhaps? It's tough to tell with these, to be honest. It's good. It's good. It's actually giving me some moderately meaningful decisions to make, you know, bloody 10 minutes in.
Look at him running that gauntlet, man. Run it, buddy, run. Presumably, oh, there you go, upgrade not available. We'll be able to upgrade them at some point. Okay. Oh, okay. Is that it? Can we, uh... I guess I gotta wait for the musical sting to finish. <laughs> oh, maybe I triggered that, I'm not sure. Alright, hey look! It's Christmas, you know, it's break time for some of us. Oh, for me, I'm not gonna stop. But, uh, I'll, I'll take the, uh... Wait, do I just press story? Hey, it's working, whatever. But I'll, I'll take these unusual games that are a bit outside of my normal wheelhouse. Have we got anything new? We got lasers. Inflict heat damage that continues to burn enemies even after they have sped past. It dots them. Yeah, but it probably only dots the first one. Now I wonder if it's a cumulative dot. 200. That's interesting. That's really interesting. Um, what's the range on it? Oh, it's about the same as the thing. Do like that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so the laser dots them is what it sounds like. Inflicts greater heat damage than continues to burn enemies even after they have sped past. Alright, I'm really curious to see what that looks like. Now we can upgrade them as well. 300, 400, and 200. Just a straight doubling. Tactical recon shows you the display. The alien special powers are reflected. Color represents their strengths and level. The laser tower heats up the aliens and sets them on fire until the target cools down. Right, so we're going to have to figure out what this symbology means. I understand. Do I have corresponding symbols on my weapons or do not? All right, here we bloody go. Here they come. All right, it's a little squad of dudes. Some bloody scarab beetle men. How come it had to... Oh, okay. I'm confused. I'm confused how the symbols have worked there, but that's fine. Yeah, good look. The laser just dots them all. That's sick. It doesn't actually just stick to the front men. Alright, are you still burning? They're still burning by the look of it. When are you going to stop burning is the question. Wow, do they ever stop burning? Were they always glowing like that? Huh. Like, are they... Are they taking damage? Is that what's going on? That's what it looks like it's supposed to be, right? Because I'd want to re-dot them, but they don't seem like it's turning off. Let's just focus it in here for the moment. Wait, 
Wait, did he just pass that to his mate? Or maybe they picked it up. Ah. Oh, okay, he just dropped dead just then. So maybe he did burn out. Right, this creates a really interesting problem that the more that you let through, the closer and more vulnerable your little bloody things become. If, look, if I'm sounding late to the party, I apologize. Again, not a big genre for me. But yeah, we've got to wait for these to go back. But essentially, the travel distance that is required now is actually only up to here. Which, if you want to draw a value graph between these first point dudes all the way through my turrets, there is a huge drop off in relative value. Excuse me. But as these creep back, if a dude does manage to get through, I'm at a significant disadvantage not having a guy there because that, that is just free real estate for them to walk up on. This is really cool. If you get the chance to shape the enemy's path by placing towers, do so. Oh, you can... Oh! Oh! Wait, I thought they said that towers are indestructible. I reckon if, say I put a tower there and a tower there, I reckon it won't let me place, it'll lock out any of these other spots. I bet you anything. But it has to be done, surely. Yeah, now, hang on, it's going to let me place one there? I'm going to do it. I want to see what happens, if they even make it that far. Right, because unless they can run between the towers. Well, the dude just said I can shape their path with the tower. Now I'm really curious. Bit of conflicting information going on here. Part of me wants one to make it. Oh, go little buddy. Oh, mowed down in his prime. Alien just went through a tower force field because they had no choice. Leave a clear path, the longer the better, and the aliens will take it instead. Oh, okay. So if I do leave the path around there, they will take it, but ah, uh, that's, well, that addresses exactly my question. So that's wonderful. Oh, this bloke's zapping them from this neighborhood over here. That's pretty cool. Yeah, look at him going around. All right, now say I put one there. Will they walk diagonally through? No, they won't. Okay, that was silly. I shouldn't have done that. All right. Now, what is this? Inferno. Alright, how many tiers can we upgrade this thing? 
Oh, it changes color as well? Okay. Okay, I can only upgrade it once. Yellow beats green, very good. These poor blakes probably devastated it. I wonder if the AI gets smart enough to run as like a little bloody squad to escort the carriers back. Oh, maybe not. Oh wow, they're getting they're getting a bit more hardy, aren't they? Alright, I will confess, like I said, this cold heart can melt and I will absolutely humble myself and eat my words on a game. But so far, I'm enjoying this. So, and it's been so long since I've played a tower defense, like truly, I, I I struggle to remember why I don't like them so much. It might be the late game grind, I'm not sure. Four hundred, I want that. I want my super laser, mate. <laughs> Victory lap, boys. Oh, jeez, there's quite a few now. There we go. What is this big red thing coming on my bloody map? Oh, I don't know how I feel about that. Something big's coming. Look at this dude. Wow, they look cool. I like them. Oh, but I'm a big tyranny player. Uh, this bloke's going to take all of our bullets. Geez, take your time, Grandpa. Holy dooly. Look at these big gats he's got on his shoulder. Feel almost bad, he can't even shoot back. Oh, there's more waves. I got the feeling he was going to be the last bloke. Jeez, he's still going strong, isn't he? Dude's keen as mustard. Oh, 
Well, these little tanky blokes. They might take a ticklin. <gasps> he grabbed a whole bunch. He's carrying three. Look. Got a big old padunkanal backpack. Oh no, all these blokes are getting through. Hmm, I wonder, it, look at that, it seems to balance out who to zap. The laser. It seems like it'll top out at a certain point and then it won't attack a dude. Yeah, see how it jumps from one to four and I guess it depends how much heat they're holding. Jeez, are we going to kill this bloke or not? I'm starting to get concerned. Oh, there we go. Get out of here, you bugger. Yeah, right. All right, well, look, we're going to stop because it did say if you exit, it would say the thing. And this is just going to keep going on for, I think we're only halfway through these waves. On our 11 out of 15, still a bit to go. You know, we don't want the episode being too overlong. Go check it out. It's kind of cool. If you like me and maybe you're a bit curmudgeon when it comes to tower defense, maybe this is just the thing to sort of whet your whistle and soften you because it did for me. I actually quite like this. I'd be curious to see uh, how it goes in the later game. Let me know if uh, if you were interested in this. Let me know if I put it on your radar. Like I said, it's a blast from the past, but it's something I missed altogether. Um, let me know if you want to see some more, because we're ha happy to play some more on the channel as well. All right, I might just leave it there for the time being, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.